header. So maybe after the latest iOS update, if it happens with your iPhone X that it's stuck on this constant boot loop, in other words, it's flashing Apple logo, turns off and then reboots itself just to turn off again. And stay with us guys for some quick solutions to fix this issue on your iPhone 10. Now this might happen for software glitch, hardware issues, and when your iPhone tries but fails to restart. So we're going to start with just leave it on charge and it's an older model so you might need to leave it on charge for at least an hour. Now if that didn't solve your problem, keep it on charge and now force restart your iPhone 10. Now how can I do that? For that, whenever the Apple logo appears, quickly press and release the volume up and down button and keep pressing holding down the side button. You might need to hold this down for 20 seconds till the Apple logo reappears. And I want to be frank with you, you might need to do this for several times in a row to actually make it work. So let's say this didn't help for you. Now you'll just grab your phone and then press and release this side button a few times just to make sure the button isn't actually jammed with some dust, debris or sweat and stuff. And then do a force restart once again when the Apple logo appears. In most times, the rebooting problem solves after all this process we have shown you. If none of this helps you solve this problem, you need to take your iPhone 10 into recovery mode. For that, you need a Windows or Mac. Just in case if you're using a Windows, make sure you have an updated iTunes version in there. And then connect your iPhone 10 with the computer with the lightning to USB-A or C cable, whatever is available to you right now. Once again, force restart. Press and release the volume up and down button and then keep holding down the side button for 20 seconds if needed. Release the button when you see this connect to computer icon on your iPhone screen. Now from iTunes, first you need to try to update your iPhone. If that doesn't help, you have to restore or factory reset your iPhone from there. You have no other choice. I must remind you, this will erase all data from your iPhone. So if you're okay with that, just go ahead, press on update and restore, and then patiently wait for the factory reset to complete. After the factory reset, hopefully now your iPhone will restart with this hello in different language. That means the problem is solved. You will just have to reset up your iPhone, and that's all. Hope this video helped you in that process. Thanks for watching.